Hey, it's Barb and Nick, and um, as everyone, we're coming out of winter, and so Nick still has his fuzzy hair coat, and he should be falling any day now <laughs> here in the spring. The good news is he's pregnant and not me. Of course, just being silly, but he does have a bit of a winter belly on him. But um, anyway, I have been noticing, and understandably so, because I think it happens every year at this time, that people are sick of winter. And in Texas, this is a wonderful time of our year because it's not hot yet and it's not so cold of the winter. And uh, I'm grateful for the green grass. But I know in many places it's still snowy and cold and icy and yucky or rainy and you can't really get outside and ride. So I wanted to give you a very simple uh, thing that you can do you know, while you're waiting to go out to ride so you don't feel like there's nothing that you can do. And it's... Um, a technique by a man named Daniel Coyle and it's um, again it's super simple here's what you do you find a video of a rider or riders that you love how they do what they do it could be you know simply riding in an arena you know if you compete or if you like certain disciplines that compete, you find this person or people. And several times a day, you just watch the video and feel it. You just, he calls it staring at the screen. You just watch the video. It's a type of visualization and if you feel it and don't get too analytical about it, just become that person. Or again, just simply stare and watch and become enthralled without having to pick it apart, without thinking that you're not that good, your horse isn't that talented, none of that. Just allow that those images and those feelings to become engraved, not only in your mind, but in your body. And it will have a huge impact on your riding. So that's my simple little tip. And um, Nick and I are gonna go for a little ride. And I know that if you're in funky weather, you'll get out of it soon. Okay, leave a comment, bye-bye.